Hello and welcome back to the weekly pop quiz, featuring a fresh new pop quiz every Saturday. Today's pop quiz features the categories, pictures, guess the young celebrities, guess the famous landmark, characters, general knowledge, and true or false. As always, you have 6 seconds to answer each question. Grab a pen and paper to count your score, because this week's winners will be mentioned on the leaderboard next week. All you need to do is to play the pop quiz, be a channel subscriber, and share your score in the comments. So grab your pen, paper, and some snacks and a drink, and let's go! Round 1. Picture round. Guess the young celebrity. And it's Adele, an English singer and songwriter recognized for her powerful voice and emotional ballads. It's Gordon Ramsay. He's a British chef and TV personality known for its culinary expertise and blunt criticism. And this one is Ed Sheeran, a British musician famous for pop and acoustic hit songs. Answer is Elon Musk, a billionaire entrepreneur behind companies like Tesla and SpaceX. And it's Ellen DeGeneres, an American comedian and talk show host. It's Chris Hemsworth, an Australian actor best known for playing Thor in the Marvel films. Moving on to round two. I hope this uh, previous round wasn't too hard. Let's guess the famous landmarks. And the answer is the Colosseum. It's located in Italy. Name this building in Egypt. And the answer is the Sphinx. What's the name of this mausoleum? You're correct if you said the Taj Mahal. It's located in India. Name this place. This is the Red Square and it's located in Russia. And what's the name of this palace? It's the Palace of Versailles in France. And last but not least, name this Indonesian temple. It's the Borobudur Temple, and this one you'll find in Indonesia. Round 3. Characters. And don't forget to keep scores. Who was the leader of the Soviet Union during World War II? Is it Nikita Khrushchev, Vladimir Lenin, or Joseph Stalin? Correct if you said Joseph Stalin. He led the USSR through Great Patriotic War and played a significant role in the Allied victory. Who is the Norse god of mischief and trickery? Is it Loki, Thor or Odin? The answer is Loki. Loki's cunning schemes often bring chaos to Asgard and the realms of Norse mythology, challenging his fellow gods. And this week's bonus question is, from which movie is the famous line, here's Johnny? 
If you could, please take a second to subscribe to the channel. A lot of work and energy goes into making these weekly quizzes and subscribing really helps the channel grow. Moving on. Who led the first successful expedition to the South Pole in 1911? Is it Robert Amundsen, Ernest Shackleton or Robert Falcon Scott? Correct with Robert Amundsen. Amundsen's expedition achieved a feat nearly a month before Scott's British team. Which composer is famous for the symphony Ode to Joy? Is it Ludwig van Beethoven, Johann Sebastian Bach or Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart? And the answer is Beethoven. Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, featuring Ode to Joy, symbolizes freedom, peace and solidarity. Who is credited with inventing the World Wide Web in 1989? Is it Bill Gates, Tim Berners-Lee or Steve Jobs? It's Tim Berners-Lee, his invention revolutionized communication and information sharing, shaping the modern digital age. Who is the author of The Origin of Species? Is it Isaac Newton, Albert Einstein or Charles Darwin? And the answer is Charles Darwin. His theory of evolution by natural selection laid the foundation of modern biology. How are you all doing? We're on to round four, general knowledge. Which animal male gives birth? Is it a penguin, a seahorse or an ant? Now this one was not that hard, it's a seahorse. It makes male seahorses unique in the animal kingdom. What adaptation allows cheetahs to achieve remarkable speeds? Is it flexible spine, extra long legs for strides or strong claws for traction? Not this one, this one seems a bit lazy. But the answer is a flexible spine. This adaptation helps cheetahs reach speeds of up to 60 miles per hour or 97 kilometers per hour. What animal uses electric fields to navigate and hunt? Is it a platypus, a shark or a dolphin? It's a shark. They have special organs called ampullae of Lorenzini, I think that's how I pronounce it, that detects electric fields, aiding in navigation and hunting. What's the name of this architectural style? Is it modernist, renaissance or baroque? And the answer is baroque. Baroque architecture is recognized for its dramatic use of forms, bold ornamentations and contrast between light and shadow. Nairobi is located in which country? Is it South Africa, Kenya or Nigeria? And it's located in Kenya. Identify the country associated with this flag. Is it Indonesia, Malaysia or Thailand? It's Thailand. It's known for its beautiful beaches, rich cultural heritage and delicious cuisine. And the last round. True or false? First one. A day on Mars is almost the same length as a day on Earth. And the answer is true. A day on Mars, known as a Sol, is approximately 24 hours and 39 minutes. Humans share about 98% of their DNA with chimpanzees. It's true. Humans and chimpanzees share approximately 90%, 98% of their DNA, making them our closest living relatives. A snail can sleep for up to three years. Again, this one is also true. 
snails can enter long periods of hibernation, sometimes lasting up to three years. The capital city of Canada is Toronto. This one is false. The capital city of Canada is Ottawa, not Toronto. A jiffy is an actual unit of time. It's true. In physics and computer science, a jiffy is a unit of time used to measure the duration of an event. Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun, is the hottest planet in our solar system. The answer is false. Venus, with its thick atmosphere, is hotter than Mercury despite being farther from the Sun. And we've reached the end of this week's pop quiz. Don't forget to add your score in the comments for a chance to be placed on next week's leaderboard. The bonus question is worth one extra point, so that makes a total of 31 points. If you enjoyed the quiz, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll be back next Saturday for the weekly weekend pop quiz. Until then, bye bye.